So guys, we finished up last weekend, round 15 in Foxborough, we finished first. Coming in to round 16 in Salt Lake City, before we get there, we're going to do a challenge and a promotional day. Round 16 and round 17 are the only two rounds left in this series. We have a pretty decent points lead, so I'm not scared on, on losing that. I, I think we got this championship pretty much wrapped up, road to king. We're going to be crowned the king at the end of round 17. I am confident in that. Even with doing the head starts, I'm excited to hop in and start doing more challenges within the game and, and some bigger challenges and not really worrying about the results because obviously I want to win the career. It's my first time through it. I want to get that checked off and we can get that achievement and everything and win the 450 career. Here guys, today we are heading on to Salt Lake City. We are on the Suzuki. I pimped out the Suzuki. We got a new gear set up running some answer gear we're looking fresh with our 60 helmet and everything so yeah new fresh setup going into round 16 we'll see how the suzuki treats us so so far we have rode the husky we have rode the honda and we have been on the suzuki but we haven't actually touched the suzuki yet so we own the suzuki today is going to be our first day on it we're going to start off with a challenge video or challenge part of this video against who should we go against who do we do we have a lot of rivalries right now with a lot of people a lot of people don't want us to win this championship so i think we're gonna go against dean wilson just because we haven't done that let's get into the video Okay guys, we're here on the compound. We're actually on the basic layout, which is actually amazing. I love it. Uh, first time riding the Husky, or not the Husky, oh no. I'm just too used to riding the Husky. Case in the jump on the Suzuki. Okay, we're on a Suzuki. Now guys, if you enjoy this video, at any point in time, make sure to go down there, smash the like button for me, show your support, become a member of the Goon Squad, click that subscribe button. I was kind of thinking about maybe tripling into this section. I was shook when I realized I didn't hit it, but uh, hey, it's all good if we hit the clean lap and beat the time. Make sure to go check out the real life channel, guys. Go check it out, Goonzig Productions, linked in the description below. Goonzig Productions, I upload all my, my real life stuff on there and of course casing that jump ruined this lap so we're not gonna get it done first try but that gives me more time to do a little bit of an intro check out Goonzig Productions guys we're trying to upload on that channel a lot more and other than that I think that's pretty much it guys we're gonna start off doing some challenges here soon after the 450 career but don't worry I will explain that in a future video we're gonna go ahead and release a template for you guys to fill out it's gonna be a form for you guys to fill out that way I have one spot it's gonna be a one stop spot for all of my challenges and everything I can go in and view them all in one spot rather than just having them scattered through all the comments if you guys are serious about me doing your challenge you can submit it through the form so that is gonna be the plan stay tuned for a future video on that promotional day give me that coin give me that money <laughs> easy 4k 4k from oakley for doing that not too shabby now if you guys didn't notice we are running the oakley graphics and i think they're looking pretty clean like i think the setup is looking pretty clean i just didn't want to look at like a yellow banana suzuki for the whole moto so uh yeah i wanted to keep it black now we are riding the suzuki it is the rmz 450 but it's just it's just blacked out. It is time for some qualifying. Hopefully qualifying goes good. It's not a mud round, man. The mud rounds always have me stressed out. Always, always, always. I'm always sitting here like worried about how I'm gonna, you know, hold up against the AIs because they either shred in the mud or they're goons, right? The AIs, since they are programmed, I feel like they have an advantage in situations like that or a disadvantage. You know what I mean? Like. They're either programmed to be really good or really, really bad. And, uh, man, it seems like on Foxborough there, they were a little goony. We had some lines on them for sure. Man, 450 on this track is definitely fun. The Suzuki, I don't know why, but it sounds like it's, like, turboed out. Do you guys hear that? When I, like, get on and let off the gas... It's like ring, ring. It sounds like a turbo, man. Maybe this thing's a rocket. I think the Suzuki might be a sleeper bike, man. Why are we all sleeping on the Suzuki? 
The bike feels fast. It actually does. The Suzuki feels really good, man. It does. It'd be interesting to compare the Husky to the KTM to see how comparable they are in this game. But Suzuki might be my new favorite bike in this game. And that'll suck. Because we won't be able to run the stock graphics ever. <laughs> ever. I don't want no banana bike. I don't know why I don't like the way Suzuki's look. I just never have. Oh, Benny Bloss, I sent you to the ground. I don't know how I didn't go down. Early on in qualifying and we already hit the fastest lap. Beating Tomac, beating Blake Baggett, bleeding... Beating Marv. I almost said bleeding Marv, but you know, you guys know what I mean, you know? I need to kind of get away from Scott Champion and Benny Bloss here. Like, it is kind of annoying when you're trying to hit a hot lap and these guys are right here with you. And that's the struggle of real life hot laps too, right? Running into lappers and everything. It would be nice if we could kind of break free from Benny here. Oh, we're totally gaining a ton of time right there. I can almost guarantee that. Gaining a ton of time doing that. I don't know what to hit through this section yet. Still haven't found the clean fast line, but I think it's good to double to there. And then you can kind of just double, double into the corner. Then through here, we could probably jump onto that table if we get a drive. Either way, we get through that section not too bad. And then a long whoop section into a 180 into another longer whoop section. Actually, they're the same size. They're the exact same size. They're not even that long either. They're kind of shorter whoop sections, to be honest. I've seen longer ones. But here, man, I think it's beneficial to go a little wider and get a good drive through this sand. Just because of how the sand drags you down. Through here, just launch it onto the start straight. And then I wonder if that's the quick line though. Like come in here, triple up to here, and then actually get a pop and double off. And then double, double. That works to hit this line. Into the corner. Guys, low key though. Low key, the Suzuki is fast. It is fast and it handles pretty good. It handles pretty good. I'm actually really surprised right now. Don't sleep on the Suzuki, guys. If you haven't tried it, go give it a go. Because I am pretty shook right now. But after that goonage across the finish line there, we're going to hop in to the main event and this session. Probably qualify fastest. We did. We're like one second quicker than Anderson, Marv, Tomac. And I think that's all because of that section where we're launching onto that start straight. It's just it's just like a little, a, little, a little bit quicker. I can't even get over the Monster Girls. I don't think I'll ever get over it. Like, <laughs> they're spending millions, probably millions on making this game. And they probably spent like five minutes making a Monster Girl. It's just kind of sad. I don't even know. Main event time here, guys. Let's, let's give these guys a little bit of a head start. And let's go hunt. Oh, yep. That, that is definitely giving them a head start. <laughs> let's go hunt them down. Let's see what we can do. Here in Salt Lake City. Jump to here. Jump to here. Can we triple? We can. And then we can like double to here. That is an interesting line. That kind of works. We could probably double triple into the corner too if we weren't getting so sketchy. And then here, I think it's best to just double, double. And then double into the whoops as we're chasing down reed look at reedy chilling at the back of the pack i feel bad for the man this is a crucial time of the race right at the start where we can make a lot of early passes a lot of early race passes a lot of quick passes if we can hit fast lines that's the only thing we have to be hitting lines that these guys aren't doing and as of right now they're hitting some pretty decent lines i can't deny that oh no who did i just send off the track along with myself we both went for a wild ride i think it might have been webb i think i might have hit webb right off of the track okay guys 16th place not where i want to be right now not where i want to be at all but i think we can make some quick passes once we get in a flow once we get these rhythms going we're going to be making quick clean moves to get past these guys triple to here maybe choke up a little bit double to here Double to here, and uh, send Wilson OTB. I love it. Maybe triple onto this table. That might be the move next lap if we can get that drive. Battling for the top 10 with Baggett and... Okay, yep, yeah, cool. Not battling for the top 10 anymore. Chilling in like 15th again. I love it. 7 minutes and 20 seconds to go. Okay, guys. You know what we might need? We might need some raw laps in order to get this one done. I might need to focus. So what we're going to do 
is counted down. Are you guys ready? Three, two, one. It's raw time. As I can't lie, this has been absolute carnage. I've been going down almost every lap on the jump before the start. Where you hook onto the start straight, I've been sending it. I've been running into people, going off track, going down, ruining that section. So we're chilling in 7th right here with Sealy. Four minutes to go in the main event. And I think if we just stay consistent, we can get up there near Tomac. He's leading right now. I don't know if we'll be able to get into the lead. But we just need to not go down. Like, we've been crashing like crazy. And it is not what you need to be doing when you're trying to win main events, you know? You need to be getting clean results. So, we'll see if we can pull something together here for the last couple laps. I just keep gooning it up, going off track, ruining sections and everything. So, consistency is key in this game. I've learned that, I would say, the hard way in the 450 career. Like, just by gooning it up and realizing, like... If you just ride clean laps, man, you'd be at the front of the pack, and then I'll crash, I'll be like, man, why'd I have to risk that? There's a lot of risk versus reward in this game with certain sections, like, you can hit a section clean, or you can go for the fast line, and end up, you know, butchering it. Or you could end up going even faster than the clean, easy line, right? So, there is a lot of risk versus reward, and sometimes you just gotta, like, take a step back and ride the smooth lines around the track, if that makes sense. There is Marv. Oh, we jumped into the back of Anderson. Oh, that ruined it. We were catching up, man. Tomac was right there. I think we can win. I think we can win, even after all of these mistakes. I think we got this. Whip over the finish line. Okay, let's show him who's boss. Time to show him who's boss up in here. 
We got Marv and Anderson, and then Tomac is just up there. Considering when I came back out of the raw gameplay, we were pretty far back. We've came a pretty long ways right now. Anderson's here. We can hug this inside. That's one cool thing. He kind of turned for us. That was interesting. But that section there... Oh, wow. Tough blocks. Hold it together. <laughs> Probably this lap and one more. And that will be the win. But that section before the finish line... It's like a... Or I guess before the whoops. Oh, no way. We got reset. Past Anderson already. Okay. Guys, if we just hit a clean lap, we're going to beat Tomac. But we need a clean lap. That is that is what we need. That is what we need. There are some fast lines we can hit, too. I'll show you one line that is kind of sneaky, man. It only really works if you hit the one spot on the lip. And it's like they made it that way on purpose. I'll show you guys what I mean here when we get to it. So this section here, if you come out really wide there is a big old lip and you can actually i messed it up i wasn't in third gear i missed my shift but you can actually hit a gnarly line through that section and it is quick okay we got two laps to go this and one more i was gonna say if this is last lap tomac's gonna get an easy win i think i was gonna say this earlier and then i kind of just didn't that one section there i think we can triple onto the tabletop if we really go for it i think it just takes commitment and this last lap, we're going to have to be aggressive with Tomac. Or maybe we'll just get past him that easily. Just right around him here in the sand, maybe. Right past him. Oh, we're staying pretty even. I get the slight edge coming into the corner. Coming out, we're side by side over the triple. We're going to launch this, get a little bit of an advantage. Triple up to here, tired sap. Double, double. Into the corner, double to here. Oh, and we ruined this. But this section... If we hit it clean, I think we could have tripled on. We totally ruined it. All the way till the finish, man. We're gonna battle with Tomac all the way till the end. Did we get him? I don't think we got him. We were this close to getting him. We didn't get him. Look at that point one hundred of a second. Oh no, one hundredth of a second. I will take the second though. So Tomac wins, we get second. Anderson gets third. Here's a look at the podium. Tomac looks real, man. Tomac and Anderson, they, they look pretty accurate. That's kind of crazy. We're still in the points lead. Anderson has jumped up to second, which is crazy. We have a huge points lead, guys. We can't even lose. We are already crowned the king, guys. We are victorious. GG's. GG's. We are the king of Supercross. I will see you guys all at round 17 in Las Vegas. Peace out.